In this video, we're going to do an example problem of how to calculate the margin of safety percentage. So if you don't remember, the margin of safety percentage is the percentage by which the company's sales revenue could decrease before the company starts losing money. So let's take an example where we have a company with one product and the selling price per unit is $2,000. And every time it sells it, it incurs a variable cost per unit of $1,600. And then we have the total fixed cost are three million dollars. Okay, so we're gonna need this information to calculate the margin of safety percentage. We're also gonna to need to know some supplemental information, which is what do we expect the sales to be? And so let's say the CEO believes that the company will sell 11,500 units this year. Okay, so now we need to say, okay, if we expect to sell 11,500 units, by how much could sales be lower than this and we still be making or not losing money basically so what we need to do is we're going to calculate the break-even point okay so I've got this broken out into steps to make it a little easier I'm going to show you a couple ways actually to do it uh, but first let's calculate the break-even point so if we we can do that in units or in sales dollars I'm actually going to do it both ways but in units we'll start with the total fixed cost will be in the numerator so that's that three million and then we divide that by the unit contribution margin. Okay, that's $400. That's $2,000 minus $1,600. What that unit contribution margin is, is saying every time we sell a unit, uh, there's $400 that's available to go toward the company's fixed costs. Okay, so $3 million divided by $400 unit contribution margin means that the break-even point would be 7000 500 units we could also do this in sales dollars and again you don't have to do it. I'm just going to show you each way in sales dollars it would be 3 million of uh, fixed costs divided by the contribution margin ratio okay so the CM ratio is going to be the 400 okay the unit contribution margin divided by the selling price uh, per unit so is 2,000 so that's uh, 0.2 or 20 percent so 3 million divided by 20% is $15 million. So here's what this means. This company sells 7,500 units, it breaks even. Or you could think about it if it does 15 million in sales revenue, it breaks even. They mean the same thing, they're just expressed in different ways. Now that we know the break even point, we have to figure, okay, well, what is the expected level of sales? What, what do we think the sales are gonna be? Well, it's already been given in the problem that it's going to be 11,500 units is what the CEO thinks is going to happen. So we've got just that 11,500 there, but we could also calculate that in terms of sales dollars. We'd say, okay, well, 11,500 units times the selling price of 2,000 per unit. So that would be $23 million in sales revenue. So the 23 million wasn't given, but you could calculate it from the, the given information. Okay, so here's what it, we're saying now. We think we're gonna sell 11,500 units and have 23 million in sales revenue. However, if we, to just to break even, we need to reach 7,500 units and 15 million in sales revenue. So now we need to compare these, compare this to this, compare this to this, and say, by how much could this 23 million that we're expecting in sales, by what percent could that decrease before we start losing money? Okay, if we break even at 15 million in sales revenue, anything less than 15 million in sales revenue, we're going to be losing money. But the question is, in terms of a percentage, how do we figure this out? So again, I've, I've got it presented uh, each way. So if we use the units, and we'll get to the same answer either way, but I just want to show you each way. So if we do the units, we say, okay, to get the percentage decline, take the 11,500 minus the 7,500 okay, up here. So that's 4,000 divided by 11,500. That gives you 0.3478. What does that mean? That means that sales, uh, in terms of units, you could sell 34.78% fewer units before you would start losing money. So if sales were to, so we think we're gonna sell 11,500 units. Well, if, if we sell 30% uh, less than that, we're still making money. If we sell 40% less than that, or 35%, then we're actually losing money. Okay, so this is what this is telling us. This is our margin of safety percentage. Now, we get to the same place if we use sales dollars, where we say, okay, let's the 23 million we expect minus the 15 million to break even. So that's in our numerator. So that's 8 million in the numerator divided by the 23 million that we're expecting. 
this is how we get the percentage decline. And again, it's 0.3478 because we get to the exact same seven, uh, same place. And that means that, so we're expecting our sales revenue, the CEO thinks it's gonna be $23 million of sales revenue. But that's sales revenue. If we're wrong and we overestimated this and it's not 23 million, the sales revenue could decline by as much as 34.78% before we would start losing money. So if sales revenue were to decline by 35% because that's higher than 34.78, that would mean we would be losing money at that point.